Okay, so in this video, we will find the following limit. So as always, we first check the case. So as x goes to negative infinity, on the numerator, the largest power of x is x cubed, so it dominates the other terms. And so as x goes to negative infinity, 2x cubed goes to negative infinity. And on the denominator, if we look inside the fourth root, the largest term is 2x12, and so as x goes to negative infinity, 2x12 goes to positive infinity, and the fourth root of infinity is also positive infinity. So we have once again an indeterminate case. The ratio of two larger and larger quantities, the top one being negative, the bottom one being positive. To try and resolve this case, of course, we try to emphasize the dominant term top and bottom, and that of course is done by factoring. On the numerator, the largest term is x cubed, so we factor it, and we're left with 2 plus 1 over x minus 1 over x cubed. On the denominator, if we look inside the fourth root, the largest term is x12, and so we factor it from within the fourth root. And then we're left with 2 plus 1 over x to the 7 plus 1 over x to the 12. And then we have the fourth root over a product of two terms. And in general, the fourth root over, say, a times b can, of course, be broken up as the fourth root of a times the fourth root of b. So we can split those two up. The numerator remains the same. over now the fourth root of x to the 12 times the fourth root of the second term. And here we have to be careful in simplifying the fourth root of x12. So as x goes to negative infinity, x is obviously negative, but then the twelfth root of a negative is positive, and the twelfth power, sorry, of a negative is positive, and the fourth root of a positive is also positive. So what will come out of this has to be positive. But then if you look at, say, 12 over 4, this is 3. So you would think, well, x cubed, but since 3 is an odd number, and x is negative, x cubed is also negative. But it has to be positive, because we have an even power and an even root. So this is not x cubed, but x cubed in absolute value. And again, how do we make something negative positive? We simply negate the negative, and it now becomes positive. So because x is negative, and 12 and 4 are even numbers, the fourth root of x12 is negative x cubed. So if we simplify these two together, I'll do it here. So x cubed over the fourth root of x12 is x cubed over a negative x cubed, which of course simplifies to negative 1. And we can leave a negative 1 on top or bottom. We'll put it on the numerator, not that it matters. So we are left on the numerator with negative of 2 plus 1 over x minus 1 over x cubed. And on the denominator, the fourth root of 2 plus 1 over x to the 7 
plus 1 over x to the 12. And now as we are about to see, the case is resolved. As x goes to negative infinity, 1 over x goes to 0, 1 over x cubed goes to 0, 1 over x to the 7 goes to 0, and 1 over x 12 also goes to 0. So what are we left with? On the numerator, negative 2. On the denominator, the fourth root of 2, or as an exponent, 2 to the 1 quarter. And 2, of course, is 2 to the 1. We can simplify into a single power of 2. 1 minus a quarter is 3 quarters, so this is negative 2 to the 3 quarters. And this is our final answer.